Fearing for their lives, the line of Usu fled Tongatu, leaving behind their lands and possessions. After many moons of traveling, they came to a great forest and sought shelter within its grounds. As they feared, the mark returned to the next born, identical in shape and color as the one that Ruutu had bore. Fearing the same would happen to this child as had happened to Ruutu, the line of Usu swore none would see this mark again. It would remain hidden and no one would ever leave the forest. I am Sumbu Usu, last of my family line and bearer of the mark of Kree. To break the curse, we agreed to never bear children. To end this legacy through the ending of our family line, this tomb is guarded with purpose. If you find yourself reading my words, take heed. Later that day, as agreed, the old man met my master at the entrance to the forest. He now wore official-looking robes and was flanked by bodyguards. His personality also seemed to have changed. He now seemed less feeble, more demanding, less in need. Rao handed over the scroll and received his payment, the parting words from the old man chilling him to the bone. You are a rich man, barbarian. When your day comes, you too can now afford such a tomb. <laughs> My master traveled home slowly. The gold wore heavy on his heart. The prospect of its riches failed to excite him. This latest enterprise had troubled him deeply. What was this mark that cursed its owner? Why was it hidden away in such an impenetrable manner? What exactly? was on the parchment he had stolen for the old man. For many days, he wandered before returning home, deciding to keep this latest adventure from Bao Musu, lest he disapprove. Gather round, all of you who would listen. I have a tale to tell. A story of warriors and kings. A saga of dark...
You look troubled. Allow me to read your fortune, Blissed. Give me your hand. You have just returned from a journey. You entered the Hayadoko forest and lived to tell. <laughs> you have done this. Mm. Young man, you have been tricked. The gold you were recently given is hexed. These coins bear the mark of the Kosai. Avoid this sign. It is evil. Where did you get such coins? I cannot see the one who paid you. He has the ability to hide from my vision. Be careful, Rao. The giver of these coins has great power. Ah, you have help, though. You have a familiar. The bird called Guso. Good. He is your spirit guy sent from the gods to watch over you. Use him and trust his vision. Listen to me carefully, boy. You have importance in this world. That much is clear. You are a tool of the gods, for they watch you move with interest. You need to leave as soon as possible and travel to the mountains north of here. There is a fortress there called Vaitaku. Seek out an ancient tree and eat its fruit. The fruit that grows on this tree has great power and when eaten will show you your destiny. For this tree is an oracle. Go there now. But remember, barbarian, this is an evil place. The tree is all that is good there.
Many days did my master travel north in search of the Mesa. The story of an oracle intrigued him. Why would someone not want him to know his destiny? He had importance in this world? That is what the fortune teller had said. His life had taken an unexpected turn, and Rao did not know what to expect next. God who protects us. One day grew angry at the demons that plagued our world. Drawing a great army of men about him, he came down from the heavens armed with Satu, his mighty Taiha. The sky grew dark with the fires of destruction. While the ground ran wet with the blood of men, a battle that would last a hundred years had begun. Many years passed before high in a stretch of mountains, Matai finally faced Yog Sogor, the demon king. Both armies fell silent, and with a scream that could kill, Yog Sagor's dark axe, Widowmaker, sliced off the top of a great mountain, and the world trembled at the fury of the Demon King. Indeed, this weapon was great and powerful, 
but it was no match for the mighty Taiha, Satu. Matai leapt across the valley, attacking swiftly, blowing up a powerful storm around him, and a false night fell across the land. Eventually, the dust of battle settled, and there at Matai's feet lay Yog Sagor. Seeing this, his demon horde scattered, fleeing back to their world of darkness, trapped forever in eternal night. But this victory did not come without cost. In piercing the demon king, Satu had become embedded in the mountain. Matai was a powerful god, but the battle had left him weak, and he was unable to free his mighty ally. So returning to the heavens, he instructed his disciples to construct a temple around Satu, and it be called Vaitaku, the Great Battle. Years passed, and the weapon that was carved from heavenly wood began to take root in the mountain. Branches stretched from its body, and the weapon slowly turned into a great tree. Not long after, fruit began to grow on its limbs in abundance. Fruit that could open your mind. Fruit that chose the future. Fruit of the gods. Book of the Damned, Matai 3.13. Yeah! 
when the mark of Cree was first discovered. The families that bore it were persecuted. People began to fear the markings for what they could bring. Many people were killed before it was realized that the malediction would not end. When someone with a mark dies, the next born in the family line continues the curse. of Cree was first discovered.
on this tree has great power and when eaten will show you your destiny for this tree is an oracle I bid you welcome. You did well to make it this far. It has been a long time since my vision has been used for good. I thank you for this. You have a heroic future ahead of you. Many songs will be written in your honor. Your name will be used to comfort children on stormy nights. Barbarian, you shall one day sit amongst gods. 
But first, you have questions. You are troubled. The fortune teller was right in sending you to me. Who is the Dark One you aided yet repaid you with a curse? What was the parchment you stole from Sambu Usu's tomb? Who are the Kasai? And where is your place in all of this? The Kasai are an ancient order, an evil sect who worship the Dark Gods and wish to control this world. The Dark One, as you call him, is also evil. He wishes harm to you and your family line. He has ideas above his status. He is a twisted magi, a sorcerer, and a necromancer. It is he who attempts to hide your importance from you, as only you can stop him. The scroll you stole from the tomb of Sumbu Usu was not what the Dark One would have you believe. It was not paper. It was skin. Human skin. The mark on it was a birthmark. A design holding secret words hidden within. Words written in an ancient tongue. Words from a long-forgotten spell known as the Mark of Cree. Six people have this mark, each holding a line from the spell within its designs. The Dark One has searched many years for these, for they are words of power. He has now found four of these symbols. He has four lines of the spell in his possession. One of which you unwittingly secured him. The sixth symbol is safely hidden and well protected. But alas, the fifth is now prisoner to the Dark One. The fifth mark belongs to a boy held in a temple where he awaits death. For soon he will be sacrificed. Barbarian, therein lies your destiny. You must go to the boy. Do what you can to save him. He is where your future lies. Before you go, I have a gift to aid you in your struggle. This is Tayaha. It is an ancient weapon carved from my body. It will help you fight many enemies at once. Now, travel back to your home, and let Baumusu teach you the ways of the Tayaha. Use this weapon wisely, and learn well, Barbarian. Be strong. Much depends on you. My master's head swam with the information the Oracle had given him. The Dark One had tricked him into unwittingly aiding the Kusai in the pillaging of a tomb and the theft of a skin that bore the mark of Kree. Now, all that stood between the Dark One and unearthly power were two skins, two final marks that held the last lines from Kree's dark spell. But what of the sixth? The Oracle had seemed deliberately vague about this final mark. Troubled, my master rushed back to the inn where he could learn how to use the Taiha before traveling east to Mayfidi, where the Kusai held the boy. I don't want you to leave. I, I had a bad dream and Mud just came out of the ground and killed everyone. I'm scared, Rao. Promise me you'll be careful. A word of advice? Rao, be careful. Let us speak outside where we can be alone, and bring your Taiha with you. Rao, my boy, it is time for us to speak. This story has been a long time coming. I hoped it could wait, but dark forces move on the horizon. So listen carefully, boy. I am a Rakus, or protector as we are known in these parts. My father, a great and noble warrior who was also a protector, trained me in the art of combat. 
We Rakus were formed to defend the bearers of the Mark of Kree. We were given the task of guarding these symbols so they could never be brought together and the evil spell they contain invoked. Alas, over time, like the Marked families, we too have been wiped out. Someone has been collecting the Marks. Someone is intent on using Kree's dark spell. I am the last of my kind, and have trained you to carry on the ways of the Rakus. One day, you too shall be known as a protector. This Rao is a Taiha. It is a bit slower to wield than your sword, but once you get it moving, you can get a few extra hits in quickly. Aye, so it is a bit more damaging. It has a greater range than your sword, and allows you to focus on up to six enemies at once. This is twice as many as your sword. Give it a try. Use the right analog stick to target all the dummies. You now have two dummies targeted for your X button. The closer dummy is your main focus, and you can maneuver around him. To take full advantage of the Tai Ha, try and maneuver yourself so that you hit both dummies in a single strike. Try it. Now! Very well done. In battle, the enemies may try and get farther away from each other to make your focus more difficult. So you will have to be keen with maneuvering for such a strike as you have done. I trust you will do well. The rest, Rao, is as it was with the sword. You may want to get used to how the Taiha handles before getting into a fight. I encourage you to practice your close and far attacks on these dummies. Try to be creative with your Taiha on your next journey, and I will see to it that you are rewarded. Approaching a combat scenario, always think about what will gain you the advantage. If you can stealth or use your bow first, do it. If there is no way to surprise your enemy, look at their weapons and select yours accordingly. Increased my master's brow. The excitement of high adventure replaced with fear and concern for the people he loved. If dark times were coming, he should be at Baumusu's side protecting his home, but the oracle was exact in its instruction to him. He was told to go find the boy bearing the mark of Kree. A boy in need of a protector. This is where his destiny lies.